Hi everyone, thank you so much for your patience. Sorry about the technical difficulties. I'm Chloe from the Arizona Science Center and today we're going to be doing color mixing. So I'm going to be reading Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carl. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Let's take a look at the yellow duck. He's pretty cute. I wonder what the blue horse is going to look like. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Have you ever seen a blue horse? I don't think I have. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. Have you ever seen a purple cat before? I know I haven't. Maybe if one was like running through a purple puddle or something. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? We see a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, a blue horse, green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep, a goldfish, and a teacher looking at us. That's what we see. The end. So they saw all kinds of animals that were a bunch of different colors. Some of them were real, like there are brown bears, right? And there are definitely some red birds out there. But do you think there are purple cats running around the streets? I haven't seen any. Let me know if you have. So today we're gonna to talk about colors and how we get some of those colors. So I have a little activity here. In these Ziploc bags, I have some blue goo, some yellow goo, and some red goo. So what we're gonna do is we're going to be mixing some of these colors together and seeing what happens. So do you guys know the colors of the rainbow? Usually starts with red, right? So we'll start with red there. Okay, and we're gonna be mixing it with a little bit of yellow to see what happens. Oh, that was a little runny. We're gonna mix it up. We're gonna see what kind of color we get from the red and the yellow. Hmm, still looks a little red to me. Let's try adding a little bit more yellow to see what happens. Oh, there we go. It's starting to look a little orange. So it looks like red and yellow mixed together make a kind of orange. So red and yellow will make an orange. So it goes red, orange, then yellow. Right, yellow is gonna be the next color in our color wheel or our rainbow. So it's gonna be red, yellow, orange, and green. So I have some blue right here so we're gonna see if we can make some green using the yellow and the blue. The blue's slightly more viscous or a little bit more thick than the yellow. Look at that, it mixes really nicely and we're making a nice green color. Green's my favorite color. What's your favorite color? Let's see if we can make it today. So red, orange, yellow, green, and then I have blue here. And 
Usually it's indigo that comes next. That's gonna be like a darker blue, but we're gonna add some red and see if we can make some purple. Purple is my mom's favorite color, so everything at my house is purple. And we're gonna give that a good mix. So there we go. We've got a really nice purple by mixing up the blue and the red colors. So what once started off as a red bag is now orange, the yellow is now green, and our blue is now that really pretty violet color. So if you'd like, you can try this at home. You can use paints. We're going to actually be using paints to make a different kind of activity. So if you have a salad spinner, make sure to get someone's permission because it will get a little bit colored in paint. You can kind of see that there's some color along the edges and we're going to be adding some paint. So I have some washable paint here, some tempera paints, and I have our three primary colors again, the red, the yellow, and the blue, because we can make almost all the colors using just these three. If you wanna make like darker colors, you could just add a little bit more paint. If you want them to be light and pastel, you can add some white. I'm going to add some of the red. I'm gonna just do a little dab. I have a paper in here, so don't just put it into the salad spinner. We wanna make sure it doesn't get too messy. We are gonna wash it later on, but we don't want it to get too bad in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of the yellow. So what do you think is gonna happen when I make the salad spinner go? Do you think that it's going to be very circular shaped? Do you think it's going to be like a square shaped? What are your thoughts? What do you think is gonna happen? I'm going to dump out some of the blue in there. All right, and now we're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna close my lid. We'll mix. Okay. It's not closed on tightly enough. Can you already see the colors mixing? Let's we'll see what happened. So it doesn't look like they made an exact painting in there. I might have to spin a little bit more to get something really cool. But you can kind of see what happened to the salad spinner. You can see all of those colors mixing together in there. I see the red, the yellow, and the blue very clearly, but you can also see some of that orange and green and even purple mixing together. Looks pretty cool. Maybe next time I'll put the paint in the bottom area or another piece of paper on the bottom area and see what catches there too. Well, thank you so much for watching our early learning live video. Today we do this every morning, Mondays through Saturdays at 9.30 a.m. Again, sorry about the technical difficulties that we have this morning, but definitely be sure to check out our next one on Monday. We also do our 1 p.m. demos, so check that out as well. If you like this and other resources like this, please feel free to check out our website at azscience.org, as well as on our Instagram, also at azscience. Have a great day.